Sometimes you don't have to look too far to solve a mystery. The answer may be a stone's throw away. We needed a bigger spot, and so we had to move a few blocks up the street. All right, a stone's throw for someone with a pretty decent arm. Great Scott's actually moved out of this building to another, a few hundred address numbers down the street. Owner Justin Abrams knows the whole story of that mural. It was the restaurant's general manager's son who painted it. His name is Troy, which makes this clue make sense. So why did Justin cover Troy's work? About six years ago when we went to do a remodel, it had been somewhat tore up from, you know, kids and families coming in and things like that, so Troy moved out of state. They didn't want to have another artist butcher his work, so they just plastered over it with diner tile. It went forgotten until the new owner told a nosy TV reporter about the whole thing. It's been a hunt the last 24 hours trying to find him. And Justin found it. My mom was a manager there at the time, and uh, I happened to be in town for vacation, and they said, hey, we want to do something. Troy Hancock was visiting from Minnesota 12 years ago when he painted that mural, and he can't believe it's getting all of this attention today. You know, usually something like that gets covered up, and then the business gets sold, and the building usually doesn't even survive. You know what I mean? The building gets torn down, or it gets turned into something totally different, and nobody even notices. So it's pretty cool that, you know, not only is it back in the, you know, back out there, but they want to bring it back to life. 